Well, we had the culture fashion show once again. There were so many people there and it was really fun. We just thought it would be a really good idea to bring it to the school. I always try to find opportunities like through shows to dance or sing and it's always nice just to show that part of myself. Well, Tucker is a very diverse school and I just really wanted to have everyone come together and, you know, celebrate their cultures through fashion. I always really enjoyed fashion. I also really liked Chinese fashion. I thought about it and there's a lot of students here who have like cultural clothes that they don't ever wear to school and they usually just celebrate their culture with their family and with their close friends and they don't bring it to school to those around them and so I kind of just use fashion as a way to bridge that gap. We had five performances this year and more cultures represented. I did perform a dance at the beginning of the show. This type of dance is called Gu Dian Wu, which is like classical dance. No one ever really wore clothes like that um, in historical times. I think that's just like a more modern Chinese dance outfit and, and the flowiness is just like really useful for a lot of people who do classical dance because it just helps accentuate some of the movements. There's a lot of emphasis on just being like very flowy and gentle and soft and willowy with your movements. The chair and the mirror are like, they're kind of like props to like further the story of like, oh, I'm waiting and I'm kind of like checking like how I look to like wait for my lover to come back. But yes, the chair was definitely like of issue because it was a foldable chair. But after like a couple of tries, I got through it and it was more of an issue of me not stepping on my dress while I'm stepping on the chair. A little bit easier than it looks. There are like portions of the dance that are like harder than stepping up on the chair. <laughs> I performed um, a Vietnamese lion dance with my team and we typically perform for our church or like our local Vietnamese communities. You need two people for the line. You need a head and you need a bass and then you need a drummer. So our drummer was my friend Angelina and then my bass was my friend Ryan and I'm the head. So I'm the one who's moving the head, making the eyes blink and the one that's kind of flying in the air, being held up in the air. It's hard because you and your partner's like chemistry has to really match because like you have to synchronize your jumps in order for them to like lift you up, for you to like get on their shoulders or something, or like just for you guys to look in sync as a lion. Definitely practice is a really important part to performing. I realized that like almost nobody in that auditorium had really seen line dancing before or line dancing in the way that my church does it. For two of the jumps, we did just a plain high jump, which is just the base lifting the head up in the air, and then you just look tall. And then the very last jump that we finished off on, but we just call it knee to shoulders. So I jump onto my base's knees and then they pop me onto their shoulders and then I'm on their shoulders. And that was the very last one we finished off on, and that one was probably the one we practiced the most. This is the tribute. 
I danced to a Bollywood mix, a Bollywood medley of like hit songs in Indian culture. <laughs> so my partner Lucky, he's a friend of mine. We've done shows together and yeah, I was like, dude man, you wanna you wanna you wanna dance with me? He was like, yeah man, sure. And then we just started practicing and practicing. So we did it this year. Each year I try to find like a different kurta. Kurta pajama is what the what the traditional wear is. I wanted to do like a sort of matching one with Lucky. And yeah, we just like we were just like, yeah, man, this like, kind of like brings out like the vibrance of the performance. It was my partner from last year, yeah, and I was like, it was it was actually really funny because uh, we were we were literally at the side of the stage and we were literally backstage and we were going like, hey, uh, you want to you make a surprise appearance on this song? Because she. They love the song so much, and they were like, oh, you're doing that song? Oh, man. I like to interact with the crowd. It's always nice to like keep that kind of style, that momentum, that energy. It's always about the energy that I want to bring. So I did a Bollywood dance um, to the song, Teri Baton Me Esa Uljajia. And I'm pretty new to Bollywood. I started doing it about two months ago. And it's pretty challenging to pick up new steps, especially as a beginner. But the more I practiced, I got better at it. Oh yeah, my outfit, it was a lenga. It is very popular in India. Yeah, and I really love the colors. That's why I chose it. We had a performance from Devyani. Um, she did a Bhartnatyam performance, which is classical Indian dance, and she's been doing it for many, many years. We definitely expanded on some performances this year, and we included teachers and staff this year. So. That was Miss Lee. She's one of my favorites as well, bless her soul. And I think she was definitely like an inspiration for the whole bringing in teachers to the culture fashion show thing. There were a lot of teachers who just were very excited by the fact that like the show existed. Yes, Mr. Raymond was up there. And honestly, I was so happy to see him up there. It was so fun. And so I would say like that sequence is one of my favorites for this year and it just like made me really happy that we could have people of like all ages like participate. So the last three years working on this show was definitely one of the biggest highlights of my years at Tucker. And I'm just really, really excited to see where this goes um, with my co-directors next year and just see how this can further grow at Tucker as like a permanent annual event. And I'm just really happy that I was able to do this with the support of everyone and the belief that everyone had in me. I'm really like grateful for all of that. Thank you so much to everyone who came.